Parallax is an After Effects script that lets you move layers forward and backward in 3D space while retaining their optical scale. This makes it easy to add a 3D parallax effect to any 2D illustration or any layered photo. So here in After Effects, I have this 2D illustration and you can see how I have this separated into different layers. And then up here, we have our active camera view. And then over here, we have this custom view where we can see the actual camera as well as any 3D layers. Now I need to go ahead and turn on the 3D toggle for all of these to make them 3D. And now we can see that they're showing up here. If I wanted to animate this camera, I could pull up the position properties, set a keyframe on the Z position, scrub forward a bit, and then move this camera closer to the illustration. But if I play that back, you can see it's just scaling up the illustration and it's not any real 3D movement going on. I could select this sky layer, pull up the position properties here, and push this back, but then I'd have to manually adjust the scale to make sure it's in frame, and I'd have to do that for each layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo, and this is where parallax comes in. So over here is the parallax panel, and I can select any layer, and then right here, this is set to 500, and it's set to pixels. So if I press this push button, you can see that the sky is gonna move back 500 pixels, and the scale is automatically gonna update accordingly. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that, and I can also adjust this based on percentage. And what that's gonna do is update the scale. And so this is set to 500 and I'll push this back. Now you can see the scale is set to 500% and the Z position updates accordingly. And if you ever wanna reset a layer at any time, you can select it and press this button and that's going to reset the position and scale. So I don't wanna update these layers one by one. I wanna do them all at once. And so what I can do, I'm gonna change this back to pixels and then I'm gonna skip the foreground cause I'll keep that at zero on the Z position, but I'll select the hills all the way to the sky and I'll turn on staggering. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna increment each layer, whatever this amount is. So I'm gonna go ahead and press push. And now we can see how those layers are laid out. And now if I play this back, we can see that we already are getting that 3D parallax effect. All right, next I'll show you what this control toggle does. So again, I'll just select these layers. And again, with staggering on, I'm gonna go ahead and push these back. And it did the exact same thing, but if we select any of these layers and then go up to effect controls, we have this slider here and we can adjust and fine tune whatever we want that position to be. And then because this method is using a lot of expressions and it also has some hidden layers, once you're done, uh, positioning everything, you can just select those layers and then click the bake expression controls button. And what that's gonna do is just eliminate any expressions and all those hidden layers. And so that should help you cut down on render times once you're getting everything configured. All right, so last but not least, there's this toggle that was gonna lock any movement to the current camera angle and position. So let's just say we have this animation where it goes in and now we wanna move this mountain back 500 pixels. We go ahead and turn this off for a second. And if I push this back 500 pixels, you can see over here, it did shift a little bit. Um, and it's subtle, but maybe you wanna lock it in to move 500 pixels based on this current frame. Then you can just turn this lock on. And now if I push it back, you can see that you get no movement. It's based on this current uh, position. And if this lock is switched off, it's just gonna be based on if this camera had no animation and you hadn't messed with any of the position or rotation properties. That is Parallax for After Effects. I hope you find this tool really useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to email help at aescreens.com. Until next time, take care.